Today in this video, we're going to be going over one thing that you must know when you're studying for your civil FE exam, and that is the importance of time management. Time management is the second most important thing that you need to master when it comes to studying for your FE exam. It is second to understanding the concepts that are going to be on your test, but time management is huge. Time management literally starts with creating a study schedule for yourself. I would advise having one to two hours every single day set aside for you to study for your civil FE exam. I understand that this can be extremely tough. You have a full time job, you may have kids, you have a family and you have hobbies that you want to do outside of work. So squeezing in one to two hours every single day for this civil FE exam is extremely tough. And besides that, there are over 80 different topics that will be on your civil FE exam. And that is why it is important for you to have a schedule and to write out the dates that you're going to study each of those topics. If you don't feel like writing out all 80 different topics that are going to be on your FE exam, but you want to stay organized, I have created a study schedule template that will allow you to go in, write out the different dates that you want to study the various topics, and then you can go in and check each day and say, okay, here's where I'm at on the list in the next two to three months, I know that I will have gotten through all of the material that will be on the exam. And this will allow you to be very, very prepared for the test. So if you would like access to that document, feel free to go down in the description box below where you can check it out. And now that you have a good study schedule and you are determined to study one hour to two hours per day, now we can take time management to a whole nother level. When you are doing practice problems, you want to time yourself on how fast you can do the various problems that you're going to be tested. on. I would advise doing practice problems that take between two and four minutes. And yes, I want you to set a timer for every practice problem that you do and see how long it takes you. If it is taking you 10 to 15 minutes to do practice problems, to study for your civil FE exam, you are making a huge mistake. Based on the number of questions that you're given and the time that you have to take the exam, it allows for you to take between two and four minutes per question in order for you to finish the entire exam. If you take 10 to 15 minutes on each question, you will fail the exam. So there's no need to practice problems that are taking you that long. If you would like over 300 plus practice problems that correlate to what is going to be tested on your civil FE exam, be sure to check out the full self-study guide that I have created it has practice problems, it has videos, it has lectures, it has explanations, it has quizzes, it has a ton of material all in one document. The only document that you'll need to succeed and pass your civil FE exam. So you can check out that down in the description box below. And for those who want to go above and beyond to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam, I would advise taking two practice tests. You should time yourself for the full five hours and 20 minutes. During each test, you will only be allowed one 25 minute break. It will give you the endurance to be able to push through the entire exam. And you'll be able to see if you're able to stick to that three minute time frame on each problem. Now, if you did practice problems within that range of three minutes and you do your practice tests within that range of three minutes, 
there is almost no way that when you get on your exam date that you're going to be really, really pushed for time. You're going to be able to get through the entire exam and you're going to know to move on if you're not able to do it within that three minute range. And as you are studying for your civil FE exam, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you stay up to date on tips and strategies to ensure that you pass. It is so exciting for me to create content and work with individuals one on one to create success stories. I'm talking about people who failed their civil FE exam once, twice, even three times. And to ultimately be able to pass is just absolutely amazing. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to check out some of the resources down below and I will see you in the next one. Peace.